Having your genome sequenced can help to find the cause of your condition. But before you make the decision, there are some things to think about first. To understand if a glitch in your DNA is causing your condition, first, scientists have to sequence all the letters in your genome that make you the unique and brilliant individual that you are, all six billion of them. This produces a ginormous amount of information that will be stored as safely as possible, just like all your other medical records. Next, they need to look through all that information to try and find the glitch or glitches causing your condition. This is a really complicated process, one that requires a lot of brain power. It's a bit like space exploration. Scientists just don't know what they will find until they go in and take a look. They could find something really useful, or they could find nothing at all. One thing the scientists could find is a glitch they know causes the same condition as yours and other people. If that's the case, they can be pretty sure that's what's causing your condition too. Finding a genetic cause for your condition can be helpful. It can help doctors to decide on the best medical care and tell you what the chances are of passing it on to your children. Sometimes they can't find the glitch causing your condition or they may have a hunch about a particular glitch but can't say for sure without collecting more information from other people. When you're hoping for an answer, this can be really frustrating. Scientists could also find glitches in your DNA sequence that increase your risk of developing other conditions that might be treatable or preventable. But don't worry, they only look for those kinds of glitches after talking it through with you and your parents, and only if you want to know about them. But just like space, you and all other humans are complicated things to try and understand. While a lot has already been discovered, there's still a lot to explore, and scientists are learning more and more every day. So when it comes to genome sequencing, there's a lot to think about, but we hope this animation helps you understand it all a bit better.